width of stance. The width of stance in the golf swing has always been based on what? The width of the shoulder. Is that correct? Has nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing. It's your pelvis. It's the width of your pelvis and how your leg fits up in your pelvis. Now, if I want to complete my weight transfer and I want to go right left, does everybody here want to go right left or does anybody want to be on the left leg at the top of their back swing? Because that's a personal preference. But let's, I'm just going to assume you want your weight transfer right left. If this is the width of my pelvis, can you see that? I can go approximately move my ankles two inches outside that width. If I move my feet any further apart than that, I have to make a lateral move to complete my weight transfer. Now I know the typical uh, tradition of golf is the longer the club, the wider the stance. The wider the stance, the more you gotta make a lateral move. You're not gonna get to the right, you're gonna make it real hard for you to actually clear and come through. Does that make sense? Now that's based on laws of anatomy. So when you narrow your stance, and you go within the laws of anatomy, two inches, that ankle can be approximately two inches outside the center of the joint. Not here, the center. So if, if you're a guy and you're born with a really narrow pelvis, the wider your stance, the harder it's going to be to complete your weight transfer. You have to make a lateral move to clear your weight. Doesn't that make sense? So here I am, my feet are wide. Can everybody see me? If I want to get on my right side, here's my head. I got to go here, and now I got to go two feet back over this way. Now if I'm more narrow, a lot better for my hips and my back, now I can complete my weight. I can make a rotational move and take out all that lateral movement. People have a lot of lateral movement because their feet are too wide. Hi, Allison TG here, founder of the Anatomical Absolutes for the Golf Swing. Hope you enjoyed that short clip. If you'd like to hear the entire one hour lecture, just click the button below.